I am Zach Bateson, the research manager at the National Agricultural Genotyping Center in Fargo, North Dakota. We are starting a brand new statewide sampling survey for herbicide resistance in Palmer Amaranth, water hemp, as well as developing tests for kochia. The idea behind this statewide survey is to help farmers identify herbicide resistant populations in their fields. So this project came from a previous one that we worked with, with Dr. Joe Eichley at NDSU Extension, where we collected plants from 16 counties, grew them up in the greenhouse, and genetically tested for herbicide resistance to group two, group nine, and group 14. And what we found was pretty good agreement between what was happening in the greenhouse and what we saw genetically. Our collection kits can be found at extension offices across the state. So you'll open it up and there will be four envelopes in there. There's enough to collect from three pigweeds. We want Palmer amaranth and water hemp samples for those envelopes. And there's one envelope for kochia where you'll go out and collect a suspected herbicide resistant kochia plant as well. So what we're asking is you go to different fields find a patch of Palmer amaranth or water hemp, go out to the field, identify one individual, and collect two leaf samples from that individual. Put those two leaf samples into the coin envelope and make sure you label that coin envelope with a proper ID so you know where that plant came from. Then you'll go to the next field where you see a patch of pigweeds, hopefully it's water hemp or Palmer amaranth, collect from that patch from a single individual, label that envelope with a unique sample ID, do it a third time, and then as well as go out find a kochia sample to collect two leaves from one individual for that envelope. Once you gather all of those pigweed samples, you're going to put it into a prepaid envelope that will be sent to the National Egg Genotyping Center for us to perform the genetic testing. The goal of this project is to find out where and what herbicide resistant traits are found in, in our state. With that information, we can develop at least a county level statewide map to show growers and agronomists where these hotspots are. But we're also able to provide a specific test result to the farmers when they're deciding what herbicide treatments to perform on their fields. For more information about the statewide survey, and where to pick up your collection kit, please contact your local county extension agent.